Assalamu alaikum and welcome back once again to today in African history with Baba Shaka. See, I'm Baba Shaka and today is June 29th, 2021. And we are in the second to last day of the self-proclaimed International African Scientists and Inventors Month. Now, CCTV, closed circuit television. Everywhere we look, there are cameras looking back at us. How did this happen? When did this begin? Let's take a look. All right. Marie Van Britten Brown felt uneasy in her neighborhood and the police were unreliable. So she took matters into her own hands and patented the modern home security system. And over 50 years later, the technology is installed in millions of homes and offices worldwide. Right? Mrs. Brown was a 43-year-old African nurse who worked long, late hours before returning home to Jamaica, Queens, in New York City. Uh, see, her husband, Albert Brown, who was an electronics technician, was away many nights, and crime in their neighborhood was high, and the police were often slow to respond to emergency calls. And Mrs. Brown needed a way to feel safer in her apartment. Specifically, she wanted a way to see and hear who was at the door from any room in the house. So, in 1966, Mrs. Brown designed a closed circuit security system that monitored visitors via camera and projected their images onto a television monitor. And not only that, a panic button contacted the police immediately. Marie Brown envisioned a series of three to four peepholes at various heights. A camera would slide over these peepholes to assess the outside area. A radio control wireless system would transfer the image to a monitor or set of monitors positioned anywhere in the home. At the monitor, the resident could not only see who was at the door, but he or she could talk with that person via a set of two-way microphones. A remote control option allowed, allowed the, the resident, in this case Miss Brown, to lock or unlock the door from a safe or more convenient distance. Mrs. Brown filed the patent for her, quote, home security system utilizing television surveillance, unquote, on August 1st, 1966. Her husband's name got second billing, and it was the first patent of its kind. The Brown's application was impressive, drawing on existing closed-circuit television technology mainly used in military surveillance. See, earlier, a German engineer by the name of Walter Birch had developed a camera monitoring system in 1942, in order to observe Nazi V-2 rockets, um, Nazi V-2 rockets tested from a safe distance because he didn't want to get blown up. See, Mrs. Brown's security system brought the CCTV use into the home. Now, three years after filing, Marie Van Britten Brown was awarded her patent on December 2nd, 1969. The New York Times reported the story on December 6th but it listed Albert's brown names first, followed by, quote, his wife Marie, unquote. Right? There's a sexism there in the reporting. And it continued, quote, with the patented system, a woman alone in the house could alarm the neighborhood immediately by pressing a button and installed in a doctor's office, it might prevent holdups by drug addicts, unquote. When asked about the next steps, Mrs. Brown said she planned to install the device in the Queen's home and explore manufacturing options. But though evidence suggests the Browns did, did not pursue commercial opportunities, their invention in, inspired many versions of the home security system we use today in single-family homes, in apartment buildings, and small businesses. And beyond the simple alarm system, camera-based security system helps with everything from personal safety to improved mail delivery. Now, I'm sure some of you have seen some of those clips on YouTube where some doer of dastardly deed creeps up on somebody's porch or balcony and try to steal their package. And the homeowner is able to see and sometimes talk to them and scare them away simply by checking the, the, the security system, whether they're in the house or not. See, by 2013, more than a dozen inventors had cited the brown patent for their own devices. Mrs. Brown later received an award from the National Scientist Committee. Go, Mrs. Brown. Finally, the popularity and potential of Mrs. Brown's device 
also led to the more prevalent CCTV surveillance in public areas, a.k.a. Big Brother. According to a 2016 New Scientist report, over 100 million concealed closed-circuit cameras are now in operation worldwide. Now, we're the ones being watched, whether we knocked or not. Big Brother is watching. But Marie Van Britten Brown became an ancestor on February 2nd, 1999. But her invention lives on. Now, just a couple of days ago, my neighbor, who lives just across the street, he and I were talking. I was welcome, welcome him back from a three-week absence. Now, whenever he's away, I would sometimes pick up his, his newspaper from the edge of the driveway and put it on the table that he has on the porch so that it wouldn't be so obvious that he was away. Now, he told me that one day he actually saw me put the paper on the table simply by checking his security system on his phone. That's when I took the opportunity to tell him about Marie Van Britten Brown and her work that resulted in him being able to do just what he did. Needless to say, he had never heard of Marie Van Britten Brown. But now he knows who she is, or at least who she was, right? So I want to thank you, say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. As I say all the time, your support is invaluable. To those of you who have not yet subscribed, we invite you to hit that subscribe button below the screen. Please like and leave a comment down in the comment section below. But most importantly, please share, especially with the young amongst us, because as you and I both know, this material is not taught in our schools. No, it's not. So, until tomorrow, inshallah, this is Baba Shaka with Today in African History. Masalam.